Hello everyone, I'm Christina Nichols and welcome to Eye on Hawaiian Gardens, our monthly show on events and programs in the city. On today's show, we'll take a look at the grand opening of the Teen Center, as well as introduce a new show segment about businesses in the city. We'll start, however, with a look at our favorite program in the city, the Community Block Cleanup Event. Hi, my name is Robert Salazar. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for the City of Hawaiian Gardens Public Works Department. Uh, here we are another beautiful Saturday morning having our neighborhood block cleanup. This is a program uh, for our residents to be able to discard all their unwanted trash or household items that, that that's been lingering around their house for a long time. Uh, residents out there, if you're listening, if you're hearing me, if you're seeing me, please go ahead and use this service. When we have our cleanups, please come out and use it. Get, just get rid of all your unwanted items so that we don't see it out on our sidewalks anymore. My name is Frank Amar, I'm with uh, Hawaiian Gardens Public Works Department and today we're out here doing a block cleanup for the city. Um, we have uh, metal bins, we have uh, green waste and then regular trash and also the concrete bins you see here. This is for our residents, um, they come in and uh, we check their ID and they sign in every time they dump. Um, this is a great cleanup, it helps keep our city clean. My name is Christian Rodriguez, I'm a resident of Hawaiian Gardens and today um, we're trying to clean up our house a bit um, and throw away some dirt and trash and uh, the city put a great program together and brought out these bins and uh, honestly uh, if it wasn't for this I'd be waiting around for another five months uh, saying I'm going to take my stuff to the, to the dump. So uh, thank God for City of Hawaiian Gardens for bringing this, uh, these bins and uh, we're getting it done today. Thank you. My name is Santos Murguia with the City of Hawaiian Gardens Public Works Department. Yeah, what's going on right now is uh, we're just getting a signature from the residents so he can dump concrete. Rafael Serrano, este, estamos muy contentos pues, con el programa que, que nos ha abastecido y la ciudad se ha, habido, se ha visto demasiado, demasiado el cambio por parte de, de estos programas y seguimos agradecidos. Gracias. Hi, my name is Carla Valencia and I'm working this trash bin and my um, duties are to check the IDs um, to verify that they're residents. I see the big items that are being dumped are couches, beds, boards, dressers, um, just in general big bulk stuff that's been being dumped, chairs and stuff. The purpose of this project is to have the yards and around the house cleaned and clear in case of an emergency, fire, etc. that our fire department's able to get in and do their job safely. Hi, my name is Fred Hardy, Public Works. As you can see, most of the bulky big items behind me today have been picked up off the ground and uh, shortly we'll be uh, picking up more uh, items off the streets. I'm a resident of Hawaiian Gardens and this program is extremely helpful since it helps us get rid of all the bulky items that we can't get rid of normally. Today we are bringing some chairs and other big items which we've had in storage for a long time haven't had been able to get rid of. My name is Alejandro Santos, I live in Hawaiian Gardens for 20 years. Um, this este program for me is very good because uh, we have in the house much waste that we can't put in the containers because it's very big. So this is a good opportunity to put it here in these containers that are big, they're for that. I like the program, uh, I hope they will do it every year. Thank you. Oh, mi nombre es Ángel Alvarado, vivo en la Ibex Avenida, Hawaiian Gardens, California. Y vine a, a, a utilizar el programa de recolección de basura de los cejos de Hawaiian Gardens. Un servicio muy bueno para la comunidad. For all you listening again, uh, anything that you guys want to be picked up, use your trash company. They're, they're available. All you got to do is give them a call, give them, give them the amount of items that you want to discard. They'll put you on a list, they'll come and pick it up. And again, that way we don't see it out in the streets because uh, it doesn't look good when you get your uh, family from out of town or we get passer buyers that come by and see all that trash. You know, we need to make our city look good. Uh, thank you. We hope you got a chance to get rid of some trash and large items at the community block event. If you did not, don't worry about it. There's another cleanup event coming up very soon. After much planning and work, the Teen Center on Norwalk Boulevard is now open. The center is designed to help teens advance towards their hopes and dreams for a brighter future in a safe and supportive environment. Here's a look at the grand opening of the Hawaiian Gardens Teen Center. Good evening and welcome to the Hawaiian Gardens Teen Center grand opening ceremony. My name is Steve Gomez, Director of the Recreation and Community Services Department. 
To begin our ceremony, let's welcome to the stage Ambassador Alondra Rodriguez to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. The Teen Center is an awesome thing that I think was missing in the city, and it's my pleasure uh, to kind of kick things off today. Um, I was a teen just a handful of years ago, so I mean, I wish I had this when I was growing up. We have Mr. Lupe Cabrera. Lupe, can you stand up? He was our first Latino mayor of the City Hill Wine Gardens. He owned uh, the Cabrera's Market, and he's really helped a lot of families out. He's actually one of the forefathers of our cities. He moved in here with his family when we had just dirt roads, no street lights, no sidewalks. He was building houses for people to move in, and my dad uh, did his electricity. I just He just told me that. My dad died when I was three, but he goes, Hank, your dad did all the electricity for my homes. So he's like a founding father, and we just thank you very much, Mr. Lupe Cabrera. Thank you for everything you've done. It's a beautiful evening, and thank you all for being here. Good evening, friends, dignitaries, constituents, staff, community partners. Before we continue with the program, I do want to take a moment to thank ATGM Neighborhood Counselor Ernie Vargas for helping make his initial concept of the Teen Center a reality and to also congratulate Yvette Velasquez on her new role as coordinator of the Teen Center. Let's give him a round of applause. So today we have the distinguishing honor of inaugurating a facility, a facility that represents a lot of our hopes and dreams for our youth. With this facility, we are giving our youth a key to endless possibilities and access to achieving a great education. We are providing equitable access to resources not readily available to many of the youth in Hawaiian Gardens. Our leadership, along with staff, we have put countless hours and dedication to reimagining a center that will help our youth flourish for decades to come. This center may inspire a student to go into law, another to go into politics, another to save our planet from plastic pollution and rising sea levels, and perhaps another to one day be a dignified president of the United States of America. We invite teenagers across neighboring cities to participate in our programs because we understand that our success is your success and vice versa. Thank you to my council colleagues and the council that came before us that helped work on this project and all of our hardworking staff for making this inauguration possible. I'm so honored and proud to be here today. When I was asked to speak, my first reaction was, I would love to, especially because not only am I a product of the community, I attended Ferguson, Fetty, and graduated from Artesia, but because I spent my summers while in college as a rec leader. This center is a testament to the City of Hawaiian Gardens commitment to their model, Our Youth, Our Future. The city has created this positive, safe, and inviting space for our youth to have a place to hang out, do homework, and get information about jobs, careers, and college. The youth of today are so lucky to have a center like this with all the resources available to them. Congratulations to each and every one of you, especially the teenagers, because of the fact that you are going to be part of the future of not only Hawaiian Gardens, but this great country that all of us have contributed to. Each and every one of us have done that. And I'm so proud of what you're doing because you're fighting for these kids, these teenagers, to be able to bring these teenagers together to this beautiful center, to be able to work with them and, and accumulate a staff the leadership and the city council and mayor, thank you. Congratulations for what you're doing. This is a, uh, a certificate from the California State Senate and it's to the Teen Center, City of Hawaiian Gardens. In recognition of the grand opening of the City of Hawaiian Gardens Teen Center, this will, place, will be placed at your Teen Center and hopefully each and every one of you who walk in the doors will see this because this is recognition of your city council, your community, and everyone who's come together to honor the children of the future who are the teenagers of America. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. So who's excited about the Teen Center today? There you go. 
So my first job was a Parks and Rec leader. So every time there's a new facility that opens up, I, I always get excited because I always remember all the great times there. So I'm here to present the certificate uh, of the grand opening today to Myra and uh, in honor and celebration of your addition to the community of Hawaiian Gardens. And in 2016, that, that particular council voted to um, have a teen center again. And so uh, we, I think our kids are so lucky to have this center that's going to be for them for their future as an educational component to help them further and go on to college. And as you look at our memorabilia in there and, and pictures from, from our community, you can see some of the history. That, that was the start of our community and to where we are now. So, you know, it's, it's a proud moment. And I want to thank all the principals for being here, all the educators and uh, everyone that, that are here for, for that reason. I'm here to present also a, res a certificate of recognition to the city on behalf of the assembly member. So on behalf of the California State Assembly and the 63rd Assembly District, congratulations on the grand opening of the Teen Center. I commend you for your efforts to create a safe space for youth of Hawaiian Gardens to learn and play. Thank you for investing in the next generation of leaders and I wish the center a continued growth and success. It's not every day we get to open a new teen center in any of the cities that we, that we represent, but um, it's not a surprise to open a teen center when the slogan of the city is our youth, our future. So really excited to be here. Congratulations. We're going to do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! What is your hopes for this facility? What are your plans for, what do you hope it does for our community and the teens here? My hope is that every teen that walks through these doors feels welcomed, uh, has all of the resources that they need to succeed, not just in the schools, um, but also at home. You know, we, we want to be able to offer financial literacy and just life skills. And this is such a beautiful facility and our staff did such a wonderful job putting so much thought into everything that went into it. So I'm really excited for our teens to take advantage of it, enjoy the tutoring, enjoy the activities, stay involved and really feel a part of this community. And I'm so excited that our teens have a designated space in the city where they can really come together and, and make great things happen. So hopefully you might end up hearing about maybe a teen council coming later on. Uh, we're trying to get that all worked out. So very exciting times. What do you think about our facility today? What, do, what are your hopes for it? Well, actually, um, I'm really impressed the way uh, the Teen Center is, is designed, the way it's built, all the computer lab, the kitchen, the, uh, the study rooms. I think it's, uh, it's amazing to be able to afford to have something like this in a city where a teenagers can come and be here like at home to be able to uh, take care of themselves. Instead of being on the street, they, can be, they could be here in the city doing their homework, being, I know we have staff that actually supporting them and monitoring to make sure whatever they're doing is productive and safe here in our environment. Hi, Alan. Are you excited for the Teen Center? Yeah. What do you like more about it? Um, about like this um right here. The outside patio, super comfortable. Yeah, I saw you sitting in the the couches. Those are really comfortable. Do you like playing video games? Did you know we have a PS4 here at the Teen Center? No. Oh yeah, that's one of the components we added to it because I know some of you guys like to play video games, so I hope that that's going to be something you will enjoy. Hi, I'm Council Member Luis Roa, and we're here celebrating the grand opening of the amazing Teen Center. And I think this is a wonderful opportunity for the kids to come out and, and explore all the different options and programs that our staff have put together. I just recently found out about they're going to be using a point system, so the more the kids show up, the more points that they'll be able to earn, and then they'll be able to utilize those points to attend excursions and even cash them out for some of the prizes and snacks that the um, staff will have available for them. So I hope everybody takes advantage of them and they come out and check it out. Hi, I'm Pablo Vega and I'm a recreation leader here at the Teen Center. Awesome. Um, tell us a little bit more about the Teen Center and what it has to offer to the city. Okay, so the Teen Center is open. As you can see, I'm standing next to some gentlemen that take advantage of our com fam famous computer lab. Uh, we do homework assistance. Uh, we also have games and icebreaker games. So 
We have uh, video game tournaments. Uh, we do movie nights. Uh, we're going to do excursions. And we, for the most part, we're going to do competitions within ourselves, sporting competitions. Awesome. Thank you so much. And how do you guys feel about the Teen Center? Are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm here with one of the volunteers for the Teen Center. If you can please state your name. Um, hi, I'm Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. So what is it that you're excited for the Teen Center? What brought you here today? And why did you decide to volunteer? Well, um, I love the Teen Center because normally I don't really have, well, I had a computer at home, but I don't now. And, the, you know, they provide a computer lab for you, and I, I love using it to do my homework. It helps me stay focused, um, you know, and I can go into the conference room if it's too quiet in there, and I can do my work in there. Um, I'm here today because, you know, not only can you do your homework, but when you're done, you can play games. Um, and you can also help someone else because they will have tutors for you. And I volunteered because... Um, I like helping people out and having all the grand opening and everything, it, it really just shows people what, you know, what the Teen Center is for. So that's, that's why I'm here. My name is Alfred Mireles. Hi Alfred. So we're here to talk about his super awesome shirt that says Stop Bullying, which is one of our counseling sessions about bullying. So please tell us a little bit more about your shirt and what that means to you. I bought this shirt because I wanted to raise awareness for people that are being bullied. 50% of the youth that are being bullied commit suicide every year. About 30,000 kids lose their life to bullying. And I wanted to t raise awareness to it. Wow, that, that's awesome. I'm, I'm so, wow, I don't even know what to say because you're so young and the fact that you are aware of these numbers and you want to raise this awareness is awesome. And that's a lot of what we need more in this teen center is more kids like you and for you to spread that and raise that awareness so people can understand that bullying is actually very serious, especially among teens in schools and everywhere else, which is, like I said, one of our counseling sessions, and I hope that you're here and you can go ahead and talk to our youth and tell them a little bit more about that. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Teen Center was actually um, something that was planned from a couple of years ago. Um, once the building was um, complete, it actually took us quite a bit of planning and a lot of hard work, um, but you know what? It's up and running. Uh, we do have a lot of amazing programs here. We have workshops, we have trainings, homework assistance, um, but we also have the recreational components. Like we have a PS4 if you guys want to like um, like to play video games. If you guys want to come out to the back and play a couple of long games, we have it all. Just come and join us. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations. She is a longtime resident, so I'm really happy that someone who was raised here in Hawaiian Gardens has this amazing opportunity to work with the youth which is our motto. So again, thank you so much. I am here with Ernie Vargas. Um, if you can tell us a little bit more about yourself and what it is that you do here for the Teen Center. Well, about myself, I've been here like an old chair for a long time. <laughs> I started here in 1986 and had the idea for all those years, 33 years, to get a Teen Center going. So we could kind of, I think, mainly focus on keeping our kids from dropping out. And so this is, it's a lot of fun, but we want to focus on the educational component of getting kids to college and graduating and being successful in life. Make new friends, receive help with your homework, get access to computers, and so much more at the Teen Center. And now to a new segment about businesses in Hawaiian Gardens. We wanted to showcase different businesses in the city each month in hopes that you will use this information to support local businesses. My name is Greg Leach. Well, I'm 44 years old. I grew up in Southern California. I've been doing this type of work since I was about 16. Started working for this company when I was 18. I started getting interested in cars when I was probably about 12 years old. I watched my brother work on uh, his Volkswagens in the garage. Uh, and then started working on go-kart stuff and motorcycles. And as I got older, then I started working on my neighbor's cars. and. I had probably seven or eight Volkswagens uh, before I even had my license. I was buying them, taking the motors out, selling the selling parts, and that's how I got started in this business was selling uh, Volkswagens to vintage speedsters back in the late 80s. And then I started the spider business in 95. So we started building the Porsche spider replicas in 1995 and then in 2018, when the owner of Vintage Speedsters retired, I ended up hiring all the employees, moving back into this facility, and here we are today. 
I chose the Porsche Spider Speedster and Coupe replica because it's a shape that's never going to go away. Everybody loves those cars. Um, you know, they built back in the 50s and it's just a timeless uh, piece. So when we're building a Speedster replica, uh, we basically have the bodies hand laid fiberglass down in Ensenada, Mexico. We have a facility down there. Uh, the bodies come up already primered with the doors, the hood, and the deck lid pre-fitted and latched. Uh, we take the Volkswagen chassis that people bring us and we shorten the chassis, rebuild the chassis, put all new pan sections in them, uh, brake master cylinder, uh, brake lines, hoses, front, front ends, transmissions, everything's completely rebuilt and brand new. And the body out for paint, it comes back from paint, we assemble, we attach the body to the chassis. Once that's done, then we install all the upholstery, the lights, the gauges, wire harness, top, uh, engine, everything gets completely put together here. Uh, if we have a customer come into the shop and order one of our Speedster replicas, uh, it's about an eight week build time from the time we get the deposit until when the car's completed. We market these cars through our uh, webpage and we ship them worldwide. I have dealers in Spain, I have dealers in Germany, uh, France, uh, pretty much all over the country. We have a dealer in Georgia, Arizona, so we pretty much ship them worldwide. I've been in the city of Hawaiian Gardens uh, in and out for the last, well, since 95 until now. Uh, when I came back, they were real positive about what we do and uh, they've been real helpful with uh, our process of business and when we need something, they're there for us. We have about 10 employees here total right now. Uh, we have guys that weld, we have assemblers of the cars, um, I have body men, we have painters. Uh, they all have their own special technique on what they do. Uh, they've been here a long time, they've been in this, in this business here, in this location for over 30 years, so they're very knowledgeable about what they do. And if it wasn't for all the employees working together, we wouldn't be here today. So a lot of times, uh, you know, we have customers, we've been in the business so long that we may have sold them a car 20, 25, 30 years ago, and we have a lot of repeat customers. A lot of them come back, they bring their, maybe their kids or grandkids, they'll come here and, and reorder cars. So it's not just, um, you know, one time and they go away. There's, there's a lot of repeat customers in the business. Being in Hawaiian Gardens and this, uh, business friendly as they've been has made things kind of nice. Uh, I'm hoping to be here for a long time. Uh, my youngest boy has showed some real interest in the business, so I'm hoping that as he gets older, he'll spend a little more time here and maybe take over at some point and keep it here in Hawaiian Gardens. We look forward to showcasing more businesses in future shows. If you have a suggestion for a business we should consider for this segment, please contact us through the city website. And that brings us to the end of another show. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to join us again each month for a brand new episode. Until next time, I'm Christina Nichols. Take care.